Hey guys, so I have a really exciting video for you today. It is a haul and it's a big haul, big fashion haul. Um, mainly being I hit Urban Outfitters sale and it was amazing, but I also splurged and got a couple things extra for myself and I wanted to share them with you. So I'm trying not to make this video super, super long. So I'm just gonna get started with the first thing I wanna talk about um, is my splurge purchase. And I don't splurge on myself often with expensive things. I spend money on clothes, but you know, collectively like a lot. So this time I went for more quality than quantity with this purchase because you might know I love my H&M flats and I wanted to get a dupe of them, but ones that would last. So I got some Madewell flats. They're made by Madewell 1937, since they've been around since 1937, um, and a size eight, and they were expensive. Um, they were $100, 98. They come in a ton of colors. They're called the Suede Skimmer. They are real leather, and that's why I purchased them is because they're gonna last a really, really long time. So this is what they look like. Get these together um, they're almond toe with no bow because I hate sh flats that come with bows and I wanted flats that would last me a super super long time so they're really really nice they're super comfortable except let's see this one gives me a tiny little blister on the back of my heel so I did have to change shoes once I break them in though since they're leather they'll be fine but this was my splurge purchase I want to get them in the taupe color it's more of like a nude color to make my legs look longer and then I'll be good on flats. So I just feel like having the taupe and the black, I would have, you know, an option for every outfit. I feel like both of those would go with everything. So that was my big splurge purchase. Then I'm gonna move on to Urban Outfitters. They had a sale specifically for California stores. And by the time I post this, I hope it's still going. I'm gonna double check, but um, it started yesterday on Thursday. Maybe I'll get this up today on Friday. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and it was 50% off in their California stores only on on top of the original sale items. So everything on sale was an additional 50% off. That was a way too long explanation. The first thing I got is the shirt that I'm wearing. I'll stand up and show you. It's like a swing tee almost because it's like really flowy. Can you even see? Yeah, you can. It's uh, bright neon yellow which is really in for spring and summer and has little lightning bolts all over it um, it's just like a cut off you know cut off tee and it's super comfortable and super cute and it was on sale for ten dollars so I paid five dollars for it for through the sale and then I got so many things from Urban Outfitters um, I got this shirt which is um, asymmetrical and it's like a gauze so it's really great for the summer because it's really cool and I paid $15 for this. It was on, no, it was on sale for 40. I paid $20 for this. So it's awesome. And it doesn't really have a collar, but it's by Silence and Noise, and I got it in a medium. Next I got this blue sheer. I got a lot of sheer things, so be prepared for a lot of chiffon. Um, this is by Sparkle and Fade, and I paid $15. It's also a size medium, but it's just a high-low hem. Really sheer. I can't wait to wear this with like denim shorts, um, maybe leggings, I don't know. But it's so beautiful in this beautiful royal color. I love it. Next I got this floral button-up, and it's almost oriental inspired. Like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but the collar um, is actually a rough um, hem collar. It's not finished. Um, unfinished collar, I guess you would call it, but it's this beautiful floral print. Again, it's chiffon. And this was also $15 for me. It's actually an extra small, so the sleeves, when they're buttoned, are really, really tight. They fit my wrist, but not they don't go over my hands, so I kind of have to unbutton them and then rebutton them. Um, but it's so, so beautiful. The print is just breathtaking, and I love it. It's actually pixelated. I don't know if you can tell, but the print, um, the floral's pixelated, so I think that adds a little difference. To it. Then I got this top, which is absolutely amazing. It's leopard print, again, high-low. I really love high-low. Um, it's actually a rounded hem, and it has, it's a tank top, although it doesn't look like one. It has um, this bagginess right here. So it's, this is the armhole. It's hard to explain, but um, you'll see this on. I'm going to add some clips at the end of me wearing these. So, um, But that's the armhole. It has like a little um, flap here. And it's buttoned up as well. And this was, again, $15 for me on sale for $30. This top is really cool. It's asymmetric. And I actually don't laugh, but I got this to film in because it's so unique. 
super long. It's a tunic, so I don't normally go for tunics. I like cropped or normal length shirts. Um, so I may just cut it, but I figured wearing it in a video, you won't be able to tell it's so long, and so you'll be able to see the coolness of the asymmetricalness on the top. Um, the only thing is this armhole right here is super deep. It goes, goes all the way to there. Um, but anyway, it was only $5. It was on sale for $10, but um, I paid $5 for the sale. And it's tank top on one side, regular cap sleeve on the other, and this is by Silence and Noise. Okay, this is the last thing from Urban Outfitters, and it's actually, oh, it's so amazing. Such a good find. They're cheap Monday jeans, super high-waisted, if you can tell. Um, they have their little logo thing up here. And normally it's 28, but these are 27 and they fit, so I was super excited about that. They were on sale for 30, so I paid $15. $15 for cheap Monday, perfect fitting jeans. I do have to hem them, they're super, super long. Um, but for now, I'm just going to cuff them under, so you can't really tell, but I love these jeans so much. They're just so comfortable and amazing and really great quality. Next, I'm going to move on to Forever 21, and I ordered some of this stuff online, and some of it I got yesterday when I went shopping. The first thing I got in-store, and it's so beautiful. I'm in love with this. It is a really, really light sweater material almost, but it is the softest fabric I've ever felt. It's super long, but the armholes are so deep. See how deep those are? I love this. It's just a beautiful print. It adds color to my wardrobe. It's tribal. I've been into tribal lately. I don't know what it is, but it's honestly the softest fabric. They only had a size medium, um, and it was $15.90, so it's such a good deal for what it is. Oh, I got this too. I'll just show this next because it was sitting out. Um, it's a chiffon hem skirt. It's um, it, it's a high-low. I don't know what I'm saying. It has an under mini skirt um, as a lining, and then the overskirt is a high-low hem. Just chiffon and beautiful, and I love it. And then I got, this is like one of my favorite things that I got, and one of the cheapest. I believe it was $5.90. It's a really, really high neck um, tank top, and you'll see this on in my vlog that I'm going to post this weekend. Um, but it looks like that's, it's a swing tank, which I am obsessed with swing shirts. I just think they're so flattering. Armholes are deep, but not so deep they show your bra, so it's perfect. I just love the cut of this. I wish they had more colors. But I wasn't sure how it fit, and now they don't have any more colors. So the next shirt that I got is this peach-colored crop top, and it's actually really, really wide, but it kind of fits like a swing tank. And the sleeves have this cutout detailing, so it looks really, really pretty. And this is $9.80. I should have gotten a small, but they didn't have a small, so I just got a medium. Never stays on the hanger, but yeah. The last two things I got from Forever 21 are similar. They are two crop tops. Um, they're basic style t-shirt, but they're really short, and the reason why I got these, um, I'll show you the pink one too. Looks like the pink one's actually shorter than the black. Um, actually, that's the back of the pink one. See? Um, it's a really low scoop back. So, that is the front of it. It's so cute on. It looks so nice. And, um, I got these to do my 90s lookbook. I want to do a lookbook inspired by the decade of the 90s, because I'm obsessed with the 90s right now, it's the era that I grew up in, if you will, as a child, so I really, really love it. So the pink one especially is super 90s, um, and the black one is just really cool, so that's what I got from Forever 21. Moving on to two random things, I'm going to save the best for last. I got this dress, it was actually sent to me by Sugar Lips, and I'm going to do um, an outfit kind of inspired video on it, but um, it's really hard to show, I'm going to stand up. So if you can... Sorry about that noise. If you can see, it has um, a lining dress underneath that's green, and then it has chiffon, and then it has a front panel. This will also be posted in my vlog if you want to see it on before I do the outfit video, but it has a front panel and it has two slits on the side. It's like a bouffant style top with it being really poofy. It's just a really pretty oriental style dress. It looks really, really flattering and really gorgeous, so that's exciting. And are you ready for it? You guys have already seen this, but I'm showing it in my haul anyway. It's the beautiful skirt, and this is by Motel, and um, I got it from Karma Loop. They sell it on a ton of websites. You can definitely find it online everywhere. It's just whether or not it's in your size. Um, they sold out in medium everywhere I went except for Karma Loop, so if you're a size medium, you might want to check out Karma Loop, but it has an exposed zipper in the back, but it's just the Motel Becca skirt in mountain. 
so it's just so beautiful. I'll link you to my outfit video I did with wearing this if you want to see it on. Um, in that video, I also linked a ton of places where you can get it. So if you want to go online and find it, I'll link you to um, the video that links you to all the other places where you can get it. Okay, last couple things. I want to show you some jewelry that I picked up. Um, these are both by Glit and Gleam from Shop Lately. You guys know I've talked about that website in the past. I'm obsessed with the jewelry on it. It is so beautiful. First thing I got is this collar. It's actually like Aztec. A lot of people said it looked Grecian. I don't know. I got a lot of compliments on it when I wore it, but I wore this with the high neck black swing top. So amazing. I, it's also in my vlog, so just watch that when I post it, but I love this necklace so much. It's so beautiful. I love my silver one. I've been wanting a gold one for so long because I wear the silver one so much. And then I got a bracelet from them. It's like a little bangle and it's this screw cuff. It has, it's actually a square shape. Um, so you can't like wear it up on your arm because when you bend it different ways your bone rotates and so it hurts. But it's silver with gold um, screws around it. I know Henry Bendel I think may have done the original version of this. Um, but a lot of stores are now copying that so it's kind of like a knockoff in a way. I don't know if Henry Bendel was the first but um, I know Henry Bendel sells a bracelet just like this because Tiffany D, makeup by Tiffany D has one just like it. And the last thing to show you is actually a beauty product, the only beauty product in this haul. It is the Jouer, Jouer, sorry, I pronounced it wrong in my vlog, I'm going to get killed for it, but Jouer Body Butter. And I've been talking about this forever, and it smells, literally, it says gardenia, jasmine, and honeysuckle. It smells like straight up flowers, like these flowers behind me, that's what it smells like. It smells so good. I just can't get enough of it. It's not super sweet at all. It's more of like a bitter floral scent. And that may sound unappealing to some of you, but if you love flowers, you have to get this. And the only reason I got this is because, well, it retails for um, $32 for 3.3 ounces. That is insane. That's so expensive for what you get, and it's just outrageous. And I could never bring myself to buy it. And so um, when I had 200 Birchbox points, I could trade that in for $20 off. So I paid $12 plus shipping for it, and I felt like I could justify it in that sense. So that's why I got it. Um, I probably wouldn't purchase it if it were full price because that's so expensive for a lotion. <laughs> and even though it's so beautiful, and the product itself is actually really, really amazing. I'll do a whole separate video will probably be in a favorites video review thing. I don't know. We'll see. It'll be in future videos, but I'm just so excited I finally got my body butter that I've been lusting after forever. I think that's all I have to show you for my haul. Um, once I post my vlog, I will link it down below. It's a follow me around video I did for all this week, um, which was finals week for me, and I finished. And I think I got three A's and one B, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Not that it really matters. I mean, do you care what I got in my classes? I don't know. Um, oh, and I just filmed a tutorial for this look, so when I post that, I will link you to it in this video as well in the description box. So please leave requests in the comments as always, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.